What I want to do is I want to begin sharing with you tools, resources, scripture, stories, all of the things that will help you to have a firm foundation in Christ. We cannot withstand the trials, tribulations, any of those things without having a firm foundation. Hey family, it's Rachel G. Scott here, and I'm so excited that I am getting the opportunity to begin to share with you something that I believe is so important for us. And it's all going to be about having a firm foundation in Christ. This is not gonna be a series. This is something that we're gonna talk about ongoing because I have found that as life is doing, you know, the thing that it does, the up and down twirls and twists and turns and all the wavy things, that in order for me to be able to truly grow, to truly withstand the trials, I've had to have a firm foundation in Christ. And I'm continuing to build that foundation and to build upon that foundation. But here's what I know. I know that life is gonna keep doing what it does. I say life is gonna keep on living. I know that there are more challenges ahead of me than there are behind me. But yet I know that God is good in the midst of it all. And so what I want to do is I want to begin sharing with you tools, resources, scripture, stories, all of the things that will help you to have a firm foundation in Christ. We cannot withstand the trials, tribulations, any of those things without having a firm foundation. There's two passages of scripture that I want to share with you as we begin this journey together, because that's what it's gonna be. We're gonna journey together. There's gonna be some highs, there's gonna be some lows, but at the end of the day, we are gonna make sure that we are deeply grounded in who God is. Before I share those passages of scripture, I wanna tell you a little story. Um, a couple of years ago, this crazy thing happened that I feel like only happens on TV. Like you'll see this on TV, on the news, you never think it will happen to you. Someone crashed into my home and they crashed into a part of the home that damaged the, a whole section of the home. And what happened was we ended up having to leave. And as we were talking to the insurance companies and working through the process and trying to figure out when we were gonna be able to get back into our home, one thing that I learned is that the deeper the problem went to the foundation, the longer it was gonna take. So at that time, I was praying like, Lord, please do not let this be something that is going to take a long time. Let this crack. There was one crack, one crack that was going straight down the wall. And that crack determined whether we were going to be out of our home for three or six months or a year or two. That one single crack. And so I was praying and I'm just asking God like, Lord, please do not let this crack go all the way to the foundation. So we had different people that had to come out. Engineers had to come and look and make sure that the structure and the foundation of the home were okay. They had to dig deep into the ground, which mean, meant that all of those things would have to be replaced. And thankfully, uh, the structure of the and the foundation of the home had not been severely damaged. So we were able to get back into our home. Um, of course, there was a lot of things we had to do in the meantime, in between time. But there was something that I learned in that moment. And I learned that not only is a firm foundation so important, but when that foundation is damaged, it can take a while for the structure of it to be rebuilt. And so if you are someone who feels like, man, I don't know what I've been doing. I feel so far away from God, or I feel like I've been, I, I, I don't really have the structure I need. I don't even open my Bible. It's okay. It can take some time to rebuild. But here's what you can also know that God redeems the time. And that's what I love so much about his nature. He redeems the time. We feel like it's lost. We've taken too long. I'm telling you, there's been moments in my life where I'm like, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, I have no clue. But what I do know is that he redeemed every single moment and beyond. I don't want you to feel defeated by where you are, where you feel like you should be, where you feel like you could be. None of that matters. We are about to focus on having a firm foundation in Christ so that everything else is built upon that side. So let me give you a few scriptures that really have helped me as I am building upon this firm foundation. The first one is 2 Timothy 2, 19, and it reads, But God's truth stands firm like a foundation sown with this inscription, 
The Lord knows those who are his and all who belong to the Lord turn from evil. Oh, what a beautiful verse. Because it reminds me that God knows that I belong to him, that I, despite my imperfections and the things that I'm working through with him, right? Because we don't want to work through the stuff without him. It's just not going to work. But the things that I'm working through with him, he knows that I belong to him. He knows that my heart is dedicated to him. And as I choose to build a firm foundation in him, I will see the beautiful fruit that comes with that. Now, here's the second verse. 2 Corinthians 1, 21 through 22. I love this one. And it says, It is God who enables us, along with you, to stand firm for Christ. He has commissioned us and he has identified us as his own by placing the Holy Spirit in our hearts as the first installment that guarantees everything he has promised us. Listen, y'all, having a firm foundation in Christ is so key to everything else that you've been praying for, you've been waiting for, you've been asking God for, you've been petitioning him for, you've been talking about, you've been thinking about, because there's some stuff we just think we never say it out loud. That firm foundation is key to it because through that firm foundation, we were, we're going to see that we can build trust in his nature, that we can understand that his plans for us are good, that we will be able to withstand some of the greatest challenges of our life and still know that he is God and he is still in control. So if you want to take this journey with me, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Go ahead, click that button. Like this, leave a comment. I am going to try to respond to every comment that I see and make sure that you share this with a friend because we all want to have a firm foundation in Christ. We don't know where we're headed in this world, but what I do know is that God is faithful. He is with us. And that when we have a firm foundation in him and we build upon that, there is nothing that we cannot withstand with God. All right, see you next time.